Walking the Rainbow Pagan. Um, today, <clears throat> I want to do a video about gay youth. Over 60% have tried to commit suicide or have committed suicide. Now, I know the homophobics are going to be like, yeah, less transgenders, yeah, yeah, yeah. And gays are three times more likely at killing themselves than heterosexual youth. Now, those are some pretty sad results. Now, what I'm here to talk about is I will share a little bit of my story with the youth here. And this is in middle school. Um, I would see the other guy showering and I would, of course, get a erection or um, so I was embarrassed. I was like, what's wrong with me? Uh, they're talking about females and, you know, hooking up with girlfriends and stuff like that. I'm like, I have no resile or anything to hook up with female. They were not attracted to me. I mean, I was not attracted to them. Um, I had no feeling towards that. Mainly, I just wanted, um attraction towards males and of course you know I hid this now we're talking back in the early 90s now before in the early 90s uh, late 80s when I went to school it, it was not acceptable and now it is more acceptable in schools and in college but my friends, I didn't come out till I was 18 after high school. But during middle school and high school, I was beat up all the time, three on one and stuff, for being, they said I was gay. And I was also in special education, which now is called learning support. Um, so they beat me up for that. They beat me up because of my speech, because I have cerebral palsy, I have a speech impediment. But they would also call me faggot and all those stuff names. Now, kids today might still suffer that um, in the small cities, in the small towns. Um, bigger cities, it may not be as bad. I don't know. But for New York City, I would say they have safe havens for youth to get kicked out of the family. They're all gay. Um, so that was me, my experience. And when I finally did come out at 18, I went to my lifetime friends that I've had for a while. And she said, I said, I'm gay. And she said, uh, it's about time you come out. So basically, your friends, your close friends and family, some of your family, will know that you're gay before you even tell them. So about the transgenders, it's got to be very hard going to school knowing you're transgender. Now, I am talking about the 0.0% that are transgender, which is very uncommon in, in um, areas, you know, at being that low. Um, the show, oh, that show about a transgender uh, girl. Um, I am something. I'm sorry, maybe you can help me out with that. If you are transgender, don't be afraid. There are YouTube is great for people out there, other YouTube pages that support you. Uh, and also you have um, groups, chat groups that you can find on, if you search Google transgender groups, you could go in there and be a support group of that. Um, and gays are the same way. Homosexuals have a great resource of, you know, people on the internet. Again, I refer to Ariel. I know these are lesbians, but for a gay man myself, it's kind of hard to find a good gay representative. I mean, we're looking at a uh, gay god. Um, he is okay, but I don't like how he pushes veganism on people and kind of is very, I, I just don't really think he's a good one, um, but you may, 
But like I said, YouTube for you people would be very helpful. Below is the travel hotline. It's active 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you can call them even if you're not feeling suicidal. You can call them just to talk to. And they can talk to you if you live in a city, especially New York City. If you live there, you have resources there that take in you, um, homosexual youth. So, just because you may feel you're different, um, so-called not normal, but what is normal anyhow? There is no true definition for normal, if you think about it. Um, normal is just a cycle on a washing machine. <laughs> so, um, please do not hide who you are. But if you are in a hostile environment that your parents are probably going to kick you out, um, make sure you have a backup plan. So this has been it basically for the LGBT youth. And remember, no matter what, you are never alone. God is blessed.